Hey everyone, Nina here. Today we're gonna to talk about how you can customize your Pinterest boards. Yep, you can customize the cover so it looks real nice and it's all branded. So I'm gonna take you through a couple of those steps today. If you're new here, my name is Socially Nina and I support coaches, consultants, and creatives in their journey to create a stronger brand. If you haven't joined us before, go ahead and subscribe and like and ring that notification bell. You know what to do. For those of you that are coming back, welcome back. Now, before we jump into this, I do create extremely detailed videos. So if you're one of those people who like to jump around and get straight to the point, you can use the description below. There will be timestamps and a full agenda so you can jump to wherever you want in the video. However, I would suggest you watch the video all the way through because I always give tips and tricks and a couple strategy things in between. So today we're gonna show you how Pinterest boards work, how to create one, how to create a cover with Canva, and everything that you should put in your pin when you create your cover board. You ready? Let's go. Okay, before we jump into Canva, let me show you exactly what we're gonna do, how they're gonna be used, and before we you know, start designing everything. So this is my Pinterest, and you'll see that I've already created some covers here. So just a quick tip, these down here, no one else can see but me. I've either archived them, made them private. Actually, they're all ar archived during this cleanup that I was doing. So some of these, um, I won't be able to change these covers because I'm in groups. You can see that from here. Let's go ahead and click on one of my boards. See, I have them organized into different subcategories here, but this is my cover. Okay, so you'll see that it's actually just a pin. I've created a pin and I've made it the cover. So I wanna make sure that this middle section can be seen in a square. Kind of like when you're on Instagram and you're posting your reels, you want the middle part to have like a square so it shows up on your feed. Similar thing, all right? And then that way you can actually have these very branded and then I will create a profile cover as well and brand that so it's all cohesive. Now let's go ahead and head over to Canva and get started. Now when I'm creating a design, I'm gonna click on create design. You can definitely type in Pinterest pin. What's gonna happen is there's gonna be two different sizes. This one's also the longer Pinterest size. I'm gonna go ahead and just create the normal Pinterest pin really their sizing is gonna be two to three. So two to three. So that's the ratio, right? Two to three, which is standard. And so what I can do is I can actually go through and see some of the templates that they have and what's trending or what's popular. These are video pins, which are great for Pinterest. However, we are creating a cover. So remember in here, we want the middle part to actually have the text, which is, this is actually perfect. I make sure that when I go down, see this pink line that's coming up, that's in the middle. And if I go right to left, you want this to be in the middle also. So this is actually a great Pinterest pin to start out with. In fact, it's really easy. I would just replace the background. So let's say I click on a background and I can find something. Let's say you have a plant Pinterest, you could just click and then you can change the colors, right? So you can go to styles, find something that matches, maybe green. It's as easy as that. Now for me, what I'm gonna do is, since I've already created some pins, I already know what my brand style is. Let me go ahead and delete this. Should, usually right here you can delete these, but let me go ahead and just do this. So what I'm gonna do is I have different brand elements, so I'm just gonna click on blob and you can either use their template or create your own. And I have my own templates, but I'm gonna look under elements. So blob or fluid, those are the kind of things that I use. I don't want anything to be moving, just need something very simple. So I'm gonna do a couple of corners. Notice this magic recommend is gonna give me other things that kind of match. And I'm just kind of putting it in corners and around. This just matches my style, not the colors, just the actual graphics. So I can overlap these 
and have them come together. And now you'll see in a second how this comes together. Just making this really, really quickly. And so I can do dots, that's also in my brand. Let me go ahead and click on graphics. For me, I would just copy an old one that I've already started, but I wanna show you how quickly I can just use elements to create just something really nice. Most people are only gonna see the middle part of this, but it is a pin, so there's a chance that even this pin can go viral. All right, now that I have some designs, and actually, let me just pull it together because I know you think this probably looks horrible. I'm gonna click on my styles because I've already set this up. And you know what, these, Usually I pick graphics that can, the colors can change. These can't, so I'm gonna replace these. I can change the color. So for me, I'm clicking Control D to copy it. For me, now I can use the styles and it's just a lot easier, right? It will change to my brand style colors, however I want it. Again, I did this really quickly. I would probably spend more time or just copy an old one. And now I just need to add text. So I'm gonna go to my text. I set this up in advance because I have Canva Pro. And so all of my brand styles are here, my colors. If you don't know how to set this up, you can look at my video that I have for Canva Pro setup and it will take you through. Okay, so let's say this is social media. I don't know which board I'm creating this for, so I'm just gonna kind of be random here. And I actually don't like the white, so I'm gonna shuffle it until the white is less apparent. Okay, whatever. Okay, so I can do this and make sure it's in the middle and I'm going to change the line spacing so it's a little closer together. I still want it in two, but just the line spacing I want a little closer. Okay. So now I'm going to, you can publish it to Pinterest from here, but I'm not interested in doing that. For now, I just want to download it. So I wanna show you how you can upload it directly to Pinterest, okay? So we're gonna save this. And on Pinterest, for this, I'm gonna create a new board. I don't wanna mess up my stuff. On the right-hand side, I can click on Create Board. And this is going to be Test for Training. And I'm gonna keep this board secret just because I don't want anybody to actually see this board, okay? So my pin was downloaded. Since there were two pages, it is gonna be zipped. What that means is when you create Canva graphics that are more than one image, you have to right click and extract it, okay? And that one was just kind of our first test one and then our second one. Okay, so. It's given me suggestions based on what I said, training, so it thinks it's about training. These are keywords, so you should be pretty descriptive when you create your board. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and create my first pin, and then we will come back to the board setup, okay? So I'm gonna click on the plus at the bottom and click on pin. Now, I can simply drag the image that we just created over here and I'll give it a title. Again, this is searchable keyword, so you want might wanna be so, say something like social media strategy. And actually for me, yeah, let's say social media strategy. And then I can add text that explains what this is about, visit blah, 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 to learn more, da, 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 whatever. Notice in here, you can also edit. So you can add additional text, you can change the size, you can, there's a lot of different things that you can do. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this, but they've added this because you can also create things like carousels, videos, whatever you need. Remember, we haven't created the board cover yet. This is just a regular pin. So if you do wanna know more about Pinterest and how to use the video features and pin ideas and all of those, just let me know. But for now, we'll go on. 
So alt text is something that serves a few different purposes. One, if there's someone who is using a reader, it will read what the image is about. So if they have problems seeing or if they're blind. Um, the other thing is it adds to your SEO, right? It helps kind of name this image. Now your destination link, what I can do is usually if I'm creating a cover, I'll put something like my website or a program that I'm using and or that I'm advertising at the time and I can either publish now or publish at a later date. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish now, make sure I'm in the right board, click on publish. Now people can see this, this is a regular, if it's not private, right? Usually you wouldn't have private, but if it's a public post, people can see this post on the board. So I'm gonna go back to my profile and I'm going to click on my saved post. So here it is. And so what you wanna do is you can now click on it and edit the board. So I'm gonna click on the three dots at the top to edit the board. Now, what we're looking for is your board cover. Usually you'll have multiple pins in here to choose from, but we're gonna go ahead and choose the only one that's available. And you can kind of move it around to make sure the elements show however you want. I'm just gonna keep it in the middle. And then you wanna be as descriptive as possible. Remember, these are keywords that people can use to find your board, to join your board, all of that kind of stuff. I would personalize it. What this does is it shows it on the home feed when people see your profile, any post that you put in here and it might draw them into this board, okay? We're gonna ignore all of these things and go back to Pinterest. And so you have your board cover. Notice these are a little bit more on brand. I created the one really quickly, but this is just a great way to make sure that your board is branded and that you look nice. So you'll see me um, rebranding a lot of these boards and adding new boards. We will create a separate video to show you how to update this cover, which includes either a video or an image. If you have any questions, just go ahead and hit me below. Ciao.